Hi Libra, how are you? Welcome to your reading. Let's look into your energy for the week of 10th until the 17th of June. Messages for Libra. The High Priestess. Okay, this is a lot of depth. Something may require you to move in your High Priestess status at this time or something was activated during the new moon period, the new moon in Gemini. Um, I feel like there has been an activation for you, an upgrade. Uh, on the other side, there could be a Cancer Pisces in the picture. Okay. Feels like an upgrade. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. This may be an earth sign. Um, you could have earth in your chart as well. Okay, or there may be something to do with this person. Or this could be about your money, your finances. Strength, manifestation, holding space. Ten of swords. <clears throat> There's something here you've been holding space for and this week may require you to continue to hold space for it so this upgrade that has happened for you has widened your capacity and the ten of swords it's like exhaustion so you could be feeling exhausted at this time perhaps this is why you're guided to hold more space Okay, Eight of Pentacles, Focus, The Devil, Capricorn. Well, someone could be looking for another person. The Devil is also Saturn, so this is about strategy. A daredevil energy. Someone could be looking for you here or you could be researching on... Hmm. You could be researching on something. Knight of Swords. Fast Communication. So this could be an email, Ace of Swords, bringing in truth. Or you could find yourself speaking. Queen of Cups with Strength Energy. Someone misses Someone needs strength at this time. And these two cards are about emotions, regulation. So you know how we have reacting, responding. So the strength card is like more of responding. So whatever this is, there is that factor of holding space. It's a big factor here. So it could be that someone is looking for you because you've held space for them. Or they need you to hold space for them. Seven of Pentacles. So this person is looking, they're not happy with their investments. There's something about an investment they've made. Ten of swords with seven of swords. Seventeen. So that is like the star energy. Sabotage. Deceit. This person has experienced a lot of this deceit, betrayal of trust. I 
and 17 makes up eight swords there's someone that like they're in need of something from you libra this could be a mother figure could be a love connection could also be a father figure the emperor so this could be a father figure you've held space for this person you've cared for them you've nurtured them and they're looking for you so they may be bringing you fast communication this may be a new person as well who is doing research and they're finding you okay there's definitely a lot here to do with the mind space four of swords hmm. whatever this is put you down okay it definitely puts you in isolation could be that this person is in isolation or they're feeling this way at this time You held space for this person. <clears throat> I keep getting that you held space for them, you cared for them. This person may be older than you, but you still cared for them. You are like a motherly figure to this person. Okay, regardless of your gender, but you were, yeah. There's a great energy of the feminine holding space. Now with the Four of Swords and the Emperor, that is a grounding energy. A lot of control here. You've had to isolate yourself or you may have had to isolate yourself from this person or this situation. Situations that were sabotaging that you woke up to you. And perhaps this is why the High Priestess is coming as the first card because it's all about that discernment. And in that discernment you're gaining clarity. So where someone for example will bring to you the Knight of Swords energy is like really, it could be harsh communication if we look at the shadow aspect of this, it could be some harsh communication so you could find yourself speaking in some capacity this week like while this knight of swords is coming this way you are handing the sword of truth so it doesn't have to be you speaking but it could just be like you standing your ground you see the 4-4 energy because here you are you're protected the empress so the empress and the emperor could be a mother figure father figure employers landlady landlord the empress is talking about abundance venus energy emperor is stability leadership mars 
The Emperor is somehow Saturn as well, so there is that combination of emotions and strategy. You're being guided to stay in your abundance here. Okay, to stay in your expansive mode. Knight of Wands, Judgment. Could be that a group of people are coming out of the woodwork or they're wanting to do that, so you're being guided to protect yourself. Okay, and this judgment is also you coming to major breakthroughs in your new cycle. You see, you are at the number eight. And whatever you've been holding space for, it was at a level seven. And you've been doing your work, holding space for yourself as well. You've been guided to do that. Feels like something. And this could be people around you whether physically or energetically, you could be picking them up in your energy. But that is because they want to come back in. Cleanse your space. Stay grounded. And keep trusting. With the Empress and the Emperor. Okay, this may be a couple as well. Five of Swords. So this is defeat. Yeah, whatever this is, definitely wants to cause conflict. Like, and you have been protecting yourself from that like no more drama time to move on up if we add all the swords together they come back to three swords and then back to eight of swords so there is a lot to do with binding if you picture the Eight of Swords card, it's like someone who is not feeling safe to express themselves. So a lot to do with uh, resistance. Wow, that topic has been major. So be aware of something or some energies that are trying to cause resistance. And how that can happen is where we do not even feel safe within ourselves to express our emotions. Like we may feel the need to defend ourselves and immediately you're being guided to come back to your clarity so one uh, I, I want to share this with you Libra that may be significant there's this prayer Oponopono it's so helpful for reducing resistance this way you're calling your power back and you're elevating. Yeah, no more drama. But this is what they're trying to cause, conflict, drama. But then it feels like you're in a peaceful place. You're owning your peace. And that clarity is right here. So let's get more about this fast communication. What is it? Seven of Cups. So this may be to do with options. So it could be that emails are coming to you or messages. And with all of that, there are so many options and you are needing to stay in your clarity. 
and this may feel ungrounding where you feel like yeah there are so many options now how can you keep focusing on this so it could be offers coming to you let's say you are working online someone is bringing you a collaborative opportunity someone is wanting this or that yeah i feel like that could be connected here So the Knight of Swords in this context, it feels really good, okay? There are options that are opening up for you and you're being guided to ground once again in order to be clear about what you are going towards, like what is, what has that capacity to grow and expand. Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man. So the hanged man is seeking enlightenment. So whatever this is that is coming up may require you to go in and seek enlightenment. It, it does feel good, okay? It really feels, it feels good. It shows that you are seen. It shows that you are, you see with the eight of pentacles, you are seen. There are people watching. You are being noticed. And there could also be stuff about your dreams coming true. Yeah, this is part of the options. And then dreams, your dream space. Okay, so it feels like a lot of activities right so a lot of activities going on on the physical level and energetic level you definitely have the divine with you with the ace of swords and that clarity is what keeps you going i share to that okay one more message for libra the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles there we go. An eight of wands. Everything is happening very fast. All in all, it's beautiful. Awareness. Awareness. Okay, like that owl. happiness I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path let's read a bit of happiness before incarnating your soul created a blueprint for you to follow in this physical dimension the easiest way to chart this path is to follow your bliss. Life is full of choices and opportunities. Spirit, in its infinite wisdom, has given you the emotion of happiness to guide you. The signposts are always there, but you have to acknowledge them and have the courage to follow them. <clears throat> As you hold this card, do you feel that you are living a life of happiness? Listen to its language and intuit if there is someone or a scenario holding you back from experiencing complete happiness. Even though it may be painful to admit, you need to, com to be completely truthful. Be mindful of how happiness will affect every aspect of your life on your path. Also, intuit if there is someone else in your life who needs to be brought into the awareness of happiness. This is important to recognize as well. Others will want to learn from you, and whether you admit it or not, you can be their teacher. When you are filled with love and compassion, not only do you bring happiness into your life, but you lead others by example. Be the light. Let's get a message from angels and ancestors. Lord, take charge with authority. Hmm. There you are. 
So you could have Pisces in your chart, uh, Cancer, Capricorn as well. And the Empress is your card as well, so also Taurus. Then there's Leo. The Hanged Man is Pisces again. And the Emperor is Aries. Lord. Don't be afraid to take charge or use your voice. Be strong. Sometimes you have to take control in order to be honored. If you feel that your kindness or gifts are, taken, are being taken for granted, it's time to change that. There is no excuse for bad behavior and the ancestors are encouraging you to hold your ground and speak your mind in a fiercely loving way. You have the energy and might to overcome dramas or energies that aren't working for your growth and it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in. You are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being bossed. This card also brings the energy of ambition and can show that you have the potential to move upwards on a professional level, but only if you act with authority and show who you really are. So this may also be the emperor to come in together with the Lord. There could be, again, there could be an employer here or a work situation, even with the Ten of Pentacles. And the divine is with you <laughs> through all of this. So this person may be in an authority position and the divine comes to say there's something beautiful about spirit is it takes everyone off the pedestal it sees everyone as human okay and so you may be guided to see someone or a group of people as human Sometimes we actually see the little children in them. <laughs> yeah, it's, it can be like that. I've experienced it where we get to see the little children and then we operate from that place and it no longer becomes a problem. Because everyone somehow wants to be seen. <laughs> yeah. If that makes sense. So sometimes when someone is not seen, that's why kids throw tantrums, for example. Right, so this could be an adult who has a little kid that just wants to throw tantrums and then you're there like, calm down, you know, speaking your truth. And this is where they're like, hmm. So I feel like there's a scenario like that here, Libra. All right, so I wish you a blessed week and I'll come back with more videos. Take care and much love. Bye-bye.